Hello and welcome to the course. In today's lecture, we will learn about how to create date table. If the model doesn't have any date table, then we can create date table very easily. Here you can see uh, this uh, data model that contains some sales, product and related tables, but we don't have any uh, date table available. So what we can do is let me show you one like here uh, in the sales table we have order date here you can see we have order date and um, what is the the minimum date here it is it is uh, 1st of july 2001 till we have up to 2004 so what you can do is just click uh, table tools and uh, then we can create one table just click new table and here you can write date or the dates and the function is calendar auto and uh, if I just uh, use this function and hit enter and here you can see we have a date table it started with uh, 1910 to onwards so it's a very very big table that contain 34,699 rows but uh, we need only those dates that we can use in our model according to the underlying facts so what we can do is we can create one um, so we can use a filter function so that we need to filter uh, this auto calendar function and we can write here so year and uh, so date greater than it's a function and uh, so it will return the year month and date so we need to provide here 2000 2001 month is July and so on so uh, like this enter and now we need year actually we don't have any date uh, like in the model we have on it from 2001 to 2014 so what we will use here uh, 2001 and here you can see we are getting uh, dates that are greater than 2001 but here you can use greater than equal to 2001 so here you can see we are getting all the dates so this is the hard-coded way like if we need some dynamic way so that uh, we need to so we, we we can make this thing uh, dynamically uh, instead of uh, hard coding what we can do is we can use variable and here we can get one um, min date the minimum and the date is sales order date this one and uh, now we need to use a return operator return keyword and uh, here we we can use direct uh, min date min date and we are able to to get 
all the dates that are greater than or equal to the minimum date so what else we we can do here we can make one more create one more variable var custom date so we named it custom date is equal to and uh, we can use return and uh, custom date so here you can see we are getting the the date the, the same stuff so here we need to create a year month and uh, date columns so we can use one function like um, add columns so add column returns a table with new columns specified by the tux expression so it take what well, the first parameter should be the table name so it is date custom date and uh, now the because uh, this filter returns one table so what we are providing here uh, the variable so this table is stored in the in the variable custom date so the first parameter is the custom date and then we can write one new column year and the expression should be year the column name is date so here you can see the first column is we have created year and this is 2001 and in the same way we can create month month number month date so we are passing this column this date column to the year and and the month as well hit enter so here you can see this is the month number and now we need the month name so here we have to use format and uh, the value is date and uh, This syntax three times m here you can see we are getting all the months from April August December and all, so on and uh, last we need day and it will be day so it, it needs one date so the same way we will provide date hit enter and here you can see we have created one um, table one date table that contains uh, full date year month and day information so we can format this column just click here and we can write we, we can click this format so we are getting proper uh, format that we, we need 
and uh, if we want to use time intelligence function then we need to mark this table as a date table so what we have to do is we need to click on the table tools and uh, then we need the mark as date table so it is very important to mark this table as a date table to use time intelligence functions so here we need to provide one date column so it's a date so it's a validated successfully okay so now this table is ready we can so here you can see we are getting 2001 2002 and 4 total sale has been repeated so the the problem is we don't have uh, connection we, we don't have the uh, connection to the sales table so here you can say so this is the date, date dates table that we have created so what we can do is we need order date and make a relationship with date table so if you look again to the report so here you can see we are getting different sales depending on the years stuff so that's all about how to create custom date table in the model and how to make a relationship with the existing tables that are available in the model.